So on to DIY number two. This is for people with dogs. It is homemade dog biscuits. I have never made these before. I've always wanted to, and now I finally have an excuse to do so. Now, I do not have the little cookie cutters in the shape of a dog bone. I went to the dollar store to see if they had them, and they didn't, and then I looked up at like Walmart, and the one by me was out of stock. So if I thought ahead, I could have got some, but I didn't. So I'm just gonna use regular cookie cutters, and I'm gonna try to use smaller ones, because for one, you don't really need huge treats, and for two, I wanna put them in here. So we need to be able to fit it through the hole here. <laughs> that sounds gross. All right, so this is horrendous lighting, so I'm so sorry. Step one is to remove the labels off the jars. If you're reusing some, I have a super easy way to do so. But if you bought new jars or if you're gonna use something else to put the doggy treats in, which you totally can, then you can skip this and go to step two. Before I was trying to get the labels off, I would sit there and scrape and scrape at it um and try to wash it out with the soap and water and it just was not working so my mom got me this stuff called goo gone that is super cheap the label on it says one dollar so super cheap she probably got it at walmart or the dollar store honestly first part of getting all this off is to try to get the label off as much as you possibly can okay now you're gonna grab a cloth not a paper towel because that'll just break as you're rubbing. You could use it if that's all you have, but it will be a little more difficult. And you're going to use this goo gone that's in the frame and everything. And it's to get stickers off. It says to pre-test on an inconspicuous, incon inconspicuous, why can't I say that word? Inconspicuous area. Do not use on silk, leather, suede, rubber. You're gonna apply it and clean the area with soap and water. You don't need a ton. Just put some onto the cloth. I just put like, you know, that much. And then you just rub it and like the label just kind of comes off. And it'll help you be able to peel off more. I hope that's enough. See, it comes off so much easier now. You just use your finger and scrape it off. And then you're just gonna wash it off with some soap and water. It's all like gooey, slimy feeling. Dry it off. Boom. Beautiful. On to the next. I just got the label off this one. Now we're gonna do it for this one. In my sustainability series, I will be going over this again, just as a little reminder. Ooh, this one's an easy one. That's that came out almost like perfect. There's just some goo right there. Amazing. This kind of labels so much better than this stick of wood. Woo! So this is gonna be super easy. Ooh, this glue is actually kind of hard to get off. I shouldn't have spoken so quickly about it being awesome. Sometimes if you just get it like moist with um, the goo gone, you can then use your fingernail to like scrape it off. Okay, this is actually harder than the sticker. It's like legit. Okay, even just like rubbing it lightly works. You don't have to use a ton of elbow grease, but it is a little time consuming. The other jar, this took maybe 10 minutes to get the label off, maybe. Um, this one's not taking as long, but I just have to like focus in on the one area longer. Now I'm just a little bit right there. Okay, so now I'm just gonna wash it with some soap and water and it'll be ready to go. All right, so I found a yummy sounding recipe on Imperfect Foods' website. If you don't know what Imperfect Foods is, it is a grocery delivery service and it is amazing. I'm definitely going to do an honest review video about them. There's some positives and negatives, but I use them a lot, so look out for that video. Anywho, this recipe has both peanut butter and pumpkin. So I think any dog would love it. I know my dog absolutely loves pumpkin and peanut butter and pumpkin. And pumpkin does help with digestion in dogs if like, you know, they're having stomach issues. So this should be good. All right, so step one is to preheat your oven. Step one, step one is, oh my gosh, Brutus. Brutus, come back inside. What are you barking at? You're such a good boy. 
You're such a good boy. Love you. <laughs> All right. So step one is to preheat your oven. Why, did, why can't I say that sentence? Step one is to preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. So that is what I did already. Step two is to grab all your ingredients. So you're gonna need pumpkin puree, which I actually have some already pre-opened from when my dog had an upset stomach a couple weeks ago, but it should still be good. It was like last week, I think. All the recipes I found said whole wheat flour. So I didn't Google it or anything to make sure you had to have a whole wheat flour, but I bought whole wheat flour just to be safe. I can always use it for recipes in the future. And then two eggs. So I have my free range eggs. You can obviously use whatever eggs you want. Um, hi Brutus, do you want some pumpkin? And then peanut butter. I actually don't like peanut butter. I know, I know I'm crazy, but bought some for my pup and for this recipe. So I just got some creamy peanut butter. And this is technically a fall recipe, but it's okay. Dogs don't know the difference. Cinnamon, salt, and then we're gonna need some water. Oh, and oats. Did I say that? We need oats. Um, it says rolled oats. I have quick one minute oats. So hopefully those are like the same thing, you know? And then it says grab a large bowl. First, we're gonna mix the oats and the pumpkin puree. So we need three fourths cups oats. There's like barely anything left in here, so I'm just gonna dump it all. Don't wanna waste anything. We need one cup of pumpkin puree. Okay. My dog is like eyeballing me. He's ready. He knows. He knows what's going on. Can you come up here? Come here. Here. Come here, bud. Look. Okay. You can get the little bit that fell on the ground. Thank you. Was that so yummy? Are you so excited for this? He's excited. Yum yum. Put this in there so I don't accidentally use it. Just a little bit. He loves pumpkin. So this doesn't even use one full cup of pumpkin, so you will have some extra. I'm gonna use this ginormous spoon. So it says just mix it up. My hands in the way. All right, so that is mixed up pretty well. You can see Brutus's nose right there. <laughs> okay. So obviously your dog's gonna love this because Brutus is ready for it. Okay, now we need to add in the flour. We need two and one fourth cup flour. Hold on. I was just thinking about it and I don't even know when I'm going to see my friends doing this present. So I may actually freeze these dog treats just to be safe. They should stay good a while, but who knows? You could always do that if you don't know when you're going to be seeing the people. Okay, so flour, two eggs. I crack eggs every single day of my life and I still get shells and stuff and don't crack them 100% right every, every single day. I'm going to go compost my shells. So two eggs and we need peanut butter. We may have to have Brutus taste test this peanut butter. Again, this is made with ingredients that you may already have at your house. Well, I don't know if people just casually have pumpkin. Uh, and if you're like me and don't like peanut butter, you will have to go out and buy that. And the whole wheat flour, you may not have. But this is all good stuff to have in the home. If you buy it, you're not gonna, it's not gonna go to waste, hopefully, so. Now we're gonna give him a little bit of peanut butter. Great. Think that's good, huh? Oh, we got, we got finished, you know. Really look at it clean. Was that so yummy? Yes! All right, cinnamon. Need one half teaspoon. So my phone died after I put the cinnamon in here. Basically, I just put, and I, I didn't realize it died, so that's my bad. I put the cinnamon in and then I put half a teaspoon of salt and then you use a mixer and you mix it up. 
So if you have a stand mixer, then I would just do this in the bowl for the stand mixer. So I didn't use the right bowl, but it's okay. I have the hand. Mine is a stand and hand mixer, so it works out perfect. But it says that the dough is going to be crumbly, so I think this is good. Looks like this. We can have my dog taste test it. I know there's raw egg in here, but I think just a little tiny bit won't hurt. What do you think? Is that yummy? Is that yummy? So the dough is crumbly. Now it says add in water one teaspoon at a time until dough forms a ball. Does that mean I need to mix it? I got some water in here. Got a teaspoon. One teaspoon at a time. We're gonna do a couple teaspoons at first. A teaspoon isn't a lot of water. Until dough forms a ball. Maybe I should watch the video. Okay, yeah, so they did just keep adding water and it eventually formed a ball, so. Their video for this is literally like one minute and mine is gonna be like 30 minutes, so that's fine. My dog is literally like underneath just like staring at me. Like, you making me some treats? Yes. What? She always watches me cook, as you'll see in all my cooking videos. <laughs> If you want some good cooking content and cute dogs, subscribe to me. I won't only be cooking, I'll also be working out, which he loves annoying me during, and a bunch of other stuff, so. If you don't watch and follow for me, then at least watch and follow for my dog, because he's adorable. This is about ready. How do you know when it's like formed a ball? So far it looks like this. You know, a little stickier and stuff. Thicker than a snicker. I don't know. Thick with two C's. Is it still a thing? Guys, when you start getting older, you do like miss out on the lingo and you don't know what like the teenagers are talking about. <laughs> Anyone else feel me? Because when I was a teenager and my sisters and mom didn't understand what I was saying and doing, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so cool because I know all the lingo. I hope to never be uncool and not know the lingo. Here I am, uncool, not knowing the lingo. Turn over onto a floured surface and roll dough to half inch thick. Listen, I don't have a roller. I'm gonna use a wine bottle. <laughs> okay, you do not need a pastry mat, but I have one that I got when I was like a teenager and I've used it like a handful of times, literally like not many at all. So I'm going to use it just so I have an excuse to use it. So it says, ba, 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 da, da, da. turn over onto a floured surface and roll dough to a half inch thick. So we're gonna use this flour. We already have, just sprinkle some on here. I don't know how much. I don't know. Maybe too much, maybe not enough, we'll see. Oh yeah, that's a ball. We're gonna use the wine bottle. This is my own, it's not the one I'm gifting, so don't worry. Roll it out. If you have a rolling pin, use that. <laughs> but if you don't, just use a bottle of some sort, whether it's wine or a water bottle, just something. Just so we got this, it's about half inch. Ba, ba, ba. Okay. I do not have dog shaped ones as I said before, so, or dog bone shaped ones. So I'm just gonna use my Christmas ones. Okay, so these are all the ones I have that are pretty small, all the cookie cutters. But I need to make sure they'll fit into this lid or hole for the lid, because it's the smallest. So, this is one. So we're gonna do circle, stocking, and a candy cane. So it says, cut with a cookie cutter in place on a lined baking sheet. Lined with what? It's like they lined it with parchment paper. All right, so we got a sheet, we got some parchment paper. I'm sure if you don't have parchment paper, it would be totally fine. So just get a sheet and let's start, let's start cutting. 
And it doesn't say we need to grease the sheet or anything, so we should be good. We're just gonna take turns doing each one of these little stencils. I can try to have an even amount. It is tricky because they're three totally different sizes, so they may cook different, but it's fine. It is a okay, I hope. How am I supposed to get this out of there? How am I supposed to get this out of there? Okay, let me grab a knife. Okay, retry with this one. This one just has like, it's so small and skinny. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. These don't need to be perfect because they're literally for dogs, BTW. Like we love our dogs, but you don't need to worry about them being totally perfect. All right, so, so far I've made out this mini. I did finish up the dough as much as I could. So now I'm just gonna re-put it together, form it into a ball, roll back out and do round two. Okay, when you re-roll it out, try to make it about the same depth thickness as the other ones you made, just so that they cook pretty evenly. All right, round three, re-rolling it out. All right, it's not all fitting on one sheet for me. So I'm getting another one and I'm just gonna cook them at the same time. My last cookie is so sad. That'll be the test one tonight. I'll let Brutus taste test it for us. See if he approves. I hope so. Here's what they look like. Yum. So now I'm gonna throw them into the oven for 40 minutes. All right, 350. Right here. These. Look how different the sizes are. I'm such a hypocrite. Alrighty. Turn this on. 40 minutes. Do you know how to lick it? Look. You don't understand? You don't have to lick it. Already, boom. Let's see. Mmm. In honor of the dog biscuits, let's grab our dog mom little thing. Also, ignore how dirty this is. All right, let's feel them. They seem pretty crispy. Oopsie. Crispy. I bet the ones on the bottom will be even crispier. Oh yeah. Oh, it's hot. Hot, hot. Okay. They seem crispy to me. Ooh, maybe a little soft. Ow! Mmm! I burnt myself. How do I know what it's done? Hi, Brutus. What are you doing down there? Just chilling. So I looked at the recipe and it just says to cook until crispy. Um... Most of them feel crispy. I may throw them in the oven just for like a couple more minutes. This one is definitely crispy. Just like the thicker ones, I think need a little more time. Okay, putting them in for a little bit longer just to be safe. I'm gonna give Brutus this little one. It's kind of burnt and see how he feels about it. Brutus, come here. Sit down. Is that yummy? It is Brutus approved. All right, they just came out of the oven again. I'm gonna wait a little for them to cool and maybe they'll get kind of crunchy while chilling here. I think they are good, but we're gonna wait a few more minutes and see. All right, let's give him an actual good one. Brutus, come in. Sit down. Can you spin? Beautiful. 
All right, so I've let them cool off some, and now I'm just gonna take them and put them into the jars, and we'll be all done. So once I started putting the cookies in the jars, I just feel like that's gonna be like a ton of cookies. So I have a couple smaller jars and I'm just gonna use them instead. <laughs> down oh my goodness producer you've already had two do you not like it is that yummy do you like it oh yeah is it dexter approved 